Hello, this is Miss Bierman. I'm here to show you how to create a simple circuit using the running stitch and conductive thread. What you can see right here, this is your conductive thread. These are your LED lights, and this is the um, battery holder. So um, you're going to get these objects, and you will keep them in the pocket that you created out of fabric, and the pocket is kept inside your plastic baggie. If you lose your conductive thread or your LEDs or your battery holder, you will have to purchase another one from uh, Mrs. Miller. And this is $4, these are a couple dollars, and these are a couple dollars, so don't lose your items. Um, the first thing you need to do is to anchor your battery holder. You're going to get a four by four piece, that's inches, piece of felt to do your first circuit. It is important to know that you do not um, use the conductive thread to anchor your battery holder. So I have a needle and I have some of this uh, regular thread and I'm going to go ahead and thread the needle. This is a single threaded needle that I'm doing here. So I slide that through the eye of the needle, pull this so that I've got a little bit of a tail and then your thread should be about the length of your arm from your neck to the end of your hand. If you're using thread that is longer than that, you are probably going to get tangled, which is why they recommend that. I'm going to do a knot now. Notice that I wrapped the string around my finger a few times. I'm holding it here with my thumb, and I'm going to pull this needle through gently so that I don't get any tangles. And once I get down here, I get it off of my finger, and now I've got a knot. So I need to make sure that that knot will stick through my felt and hold, and it won't. It's not big enough. So the needle is probably bigger, sorry, the eye of the needle is bigger than the knot. So I'm just going to try to tie a knot on top of the other knot. Sometimes it takes me a couple of tries, but it also makes a bigger knot. So I'm tying it in a slightly different manner. You should tie it however works for you. Now that knot, you can actually see it looks bigger. So I'm going to check and see that that will hold. Oops. <laughs> that that will hold. And it will. So that's good. So I'm just pulling that back out, and then I'll just re-thread the needle here in preparation for anchoring the battery. So I've got my battery here. Um, my LED light is going to go here, and it's got two holes. And then the light is in the center. And you're going to do a running stitch that connects the battery to the light. Now, you have to make sure you know that you're doing positive and negative. So over here I have the positive side, and, oh, whoops, it goes like this. There we go. There's the positive side, and this is the negative side. So that means this will be the negative side on the LED, and this will be the positive side on the LED. And this is the battery holder. And now we need to anchor the battery holder. So there's holes like these are little holes here on your battery holder. So I'm going to do the anchoring on this hole and this hole. It's going to be this hole and this hole. And that is with your regular thread, this guy. Um, so now that I see how that's going to go, now I can think about how this is going to look on my practice fabric here. So I've got plus, plus here and here. So you get, let's see, there are seven. 
Um, on the back of the LED lights, you can actually see, um, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it says the colors. So this one is, there's a green, a blue, and a white. So I'm going to go with the green. And I have to remove these from each other. Um, they should snap. You want to be pretty gentle. Um, but they should kind of snap apart. Maybe I'll use this one. It is the yellow, I think. Nope, that's a white. That's a white one. Okay. So uh, I've got positive here on this side, negative on this side. So looking, oops, looking at my little LED, I can see positive on this side, negative on this side. It's going to go about here. Then I need to establish where my pathway is going to go. I'm going to use a special marking tool. Um, I only have one of these at the moment. Um, it's filled with chalk. And what you can do, it, you can actually make a line. It's like a little chalk line that eventually just sort of comes off. So this is better than a pencil or a Sharpie because then you're not going to see your um, pencil line or your Sharpie line. Of course, this is pretty hard to see on the pink. So I've noticed uh, when I use, I noticed that when I use this um, little marker that it helps if I kind of go back and forth. When I say marker, I just mean that it makes marks. And then I kind of move this out of the way and I'm just sort of going back and forth to see that I can get my circuit pathway in there. Okay, so you can see how that's going to look. Uh, you, these have to, they can't cross, so um, that's going to give you a short. So it's going to go like here. So these holes are for the circuit, these holes are for the anchor, and this one's going to go about here. So now I know where to anchor. Okay, so now I'm ready to anchor the top two holes of my um, battery holder using a whip stitch. So I've got, I'm going to try to come up from the bottom because you always want to keep your knots on the bottom. And then you should have a knot thick enough that if you give it a uh, firm pull but not too hard that it won't come through. Uh, you can trim this tail a little bit. You don't want to trim it all the way but maybe just so there's about an inch left. And then what you're going to do is whip stitch around that metal um, part. So you can see I'm actually wrapping the string around the metal, bending the fabric to bring it up into that hole. Um, I would recommend doing this at least five times so you have a nice good anchor and it's not sliding around. It's easy to do. Um, I like to keep all my th threads kind of together. Got a little loop there, which I'm not thrilled about, but somehow I'll manage. All right, then once I've got it on there maybe five or six times, then I'm going to need to tie it off back here. Uh, the way I like to do um, my end knot, this is how I was taught. You've seen a lot of different examples. You actually uh, go through part of the fabric. Your needle isn't going all the way up, but you kind of go through part of the fabric right there where uh, the thread is coming out. And then I wrap my needle three times, push it through, hold it right there, and that brings a knot. Um, there are a lot of ways to do the knots, but you're going to need to make sure that you find the one you're most comfortable with that um, that holds. I mean, that's really the important thing. So you see with it just anchored on one side, it's kind of floppy. So I'm going to hold it in place. And now, oh, I need another knot, right? So I'm going to tie another knot here. It's going to need to be a pretty thick knot because of the needle I'm using. So, okay, so at this point I have the uh, battery holder anchored. So you can see um, at the top here, these two holes are anchored, and the bottom comes up. If we look at the back, you can see um, they're knotted, 
it's not going to come out. So the next step would be then to begin sewing one of the circuits. 